Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is an exciting day because we have the release of the World Update 4 for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So without further ado, we're going to get into the video and I'm going to show you how to properly install and uh, configure everything to get the new update. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to make sure our Windows is up to date, which I've already done. Um, you can just open up the Windows Update, click on Check for Updates, and see if there's anything that's pending or missing, and this will make sure that your computer is up to date to handle anything that's new or added onto the game. Um, so I've already done this, we'll let this run for a second, but I'm pretty sure there's no updates. Uh, actually there is an update, so it's going to download these two updates to 100% and install, it may require you to restart your computer. Um, so I'm going to let those run and see if I have to restart or not. The second thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to look to see if I have any new graphics drivers. So for that I use uh, GeForce, I have a 2070 Super. So I'm going to open up the GeForce Experience and then under the drivers here I'm going to look for check for updates and you get a little message here it'll tell you if you have a new version or not. So I have the latest version which is this 465.89. Um, if there was a newer version it would show up over here and it would ask you to install so I'm up to date with the graphics. Okay, and since I have this new version of the Windows, uh, I'm going to give this a chance to download and install before I go ahead and do the new update. And I'll see you guys in a few seconds. So the Windows update just finished um, downloading and installing. And as you can see here, it's asking me to restart my window. So I'm going to do that. And then we're going to look in the Windows Store and start doing the first update for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So the computer has now restarted. Um, I just opened up the Windows Update again just to validate. I checked it again. And it's saying that now I'm up to date as of today at 2.47 PM. So now I can close this Windows Update. My driver is good and I'm going to open up the Windows Store and what we're going to look for is we're going to look for some updates and you'll see the first update I have here is actually from Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this is the first step. This is the, the one you want to do initially because if you open up the game it's going to tell you you have to do this one first anyways. Uh, so let's go ahead click here to download. This is going to take a few moments. It's 1.23 gigabytes. So we're going to download this one first, and then we're going to open up the game to do the second part of the update. Okay, so this update now has been completed. Um, so we're going to start up the game, but just before I go there, I just wanted to mention, I purchased this game from the Microsoft Store. Uh, I know there's some of you that have purchased it on the, the CD, and I believe it brings you to the Microsoft Store as well. Um, and I know there's some that have purchased it from the Steam. So if you purchase this game from the Steam, uh, you might want to open up the Steam and it should have the same update that you have to do first before you open up your simulator. So since this is complete, I'm going to close this and now we're going to open up the simulator. All right, guys, so here we are back in the simulator. And as you can see, we're greeted right away with a new uh, splash screen. And I believe, I could be wrong, I think this is uh, a picture of, I guess, Paris in France. I'm going to take a guess. Um, so once you open up your simulator, you're going to be greeted with this window here, which is going to ask you to download um, the new patch for the game. This is 23.26 uh, gigabytes to download. Um, just the one thing I would suggest is just make sure here in this little box that it is pointing to your correct destination of download. So for me it is in the K drive and I have a folder called FS2020. That's where all of my updates uh, go in the sim. So if you like I'm just going to scroll down slowly here in case you wanted to pause the video and read about all the updates that are in this patch. And once I'm done this I'm just going to quickly download the uh, this patch for the game and then we're going to download the last part which is uh, the update in game to make sure that we have all the new POIs and sceneries for France so that's pretty much it let's just click update okay so now this is done 
downloading and it says installation is complete. We're going to hit continue. And now here we're greeted with a new splash screen again. Uh, it looks like the same image as we saw before, but now it says World Update France, Belgium, Netherlands, and Luxembourg. And you have your four flags there in the corner. And we have, again, some airport data updates, uh, point of interests. Oh, new building types, which is nice. A new spotlight challenge, some new bush trips. All right, and here we are now in the sim. So now what we want to do, uh, you'll see right here on the bottom right hand side, you'll see world update uh, for sale. So I usually don't click on this, but you could. Um, what we want to do is we want to go to the marketplace. And I believe uh, that little box there on the bottom right also takes you to the same place. But here you'll see the new world update for. And it says free. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to click on this. And now we're going to click buy and download. And this is going to be another 5.15 gigabytes. So this will be another couple of minutes. Uh, I'm going to let this download and I'll meet you guys when it's done. And then we're going to take a look to see if everything was installed correctly. If we have the new POIs on the map. All right, guys. So this is now complete. And if we click up here on the little notification bell, you'll see these are all the new additions with the new download. And one last thing I'd like to do just to make sure that everything is good is I like to go to the content manager, which is under file and then content manager. Okay, so while in the content manager, um, what I did was I just looked at the non installed and updates available tabs here, check mark them both. And then I clicked on selected all and it just selected all the new additions to the game um, or prior additions that have updates. And this is pretty much the last thing I would do is just make sure that all of these are up to dates because this can include things like libraries um, and updated bush trip landings and, and scenery, uh, even for older stuff that you have on the sim. So I just want to make sure that all of these are up to dates just before I get into it and start flying. So for me, it was about 170 megabytes. Um, I clicked it just before I started uh, recording. So I'm down to 71 megabytes left of download. But once this is done, I'll meet you guys back on the main screen and we'll take a look and see if everything has been updated correctly. Okay, so now that that's done, you can see I only have two items here that uh, have downloads available and that's normal. These two I usually don't update them. Uh, Landmark City Pack for London just because this causes some uh, issues in performance in the London area. And the CYKZ Airport. This one actually conflicts with my St. Martin and I already know that so I obviously didn't check mark these two to download but everything else should be done. I have another 15 updates here and now I have zero updates available which is exactly what you want. So going back now and going back to our home screen, uh, just to validate to see if everything was done correctly, uh, I would just click on the world map. And this is normally how I validate. And you can see here the cluster of all the new airports and POIs within the, the France region, the Belgium, uh, Netherlands, so all these POIs, everything with the stars and the little exclamation marks, these are all new points of interest and airports and sceneries that have been added. And it uh, looks like everything was successful. We have all the UK and now all of the central area here in Europe. And uh, everything was good. Okay, so now that that's done, you can see I only have two items here that uh, have downloads available. And that's normal. These two I usually don't update them. Uh, Landmark City Pack for London just because this causes some uh, issues in performance in the London area. And the CYKZ airport, this one actually conflicts with my St. Martin. And I already know that, so I obviously didn't check mark these two to download, but everything else should be done. I have another 15 updates here. And now I have zero updates available, which is exactly what you want. So going back now, and going back to our home screen, uh, just to validate to see if everything was done correctly, uh, I would just click on the world map. And this is normally how I validate. And you can see here the cluster of all the new airports and POIs within the, the France region, 
the Belgium, uh, Netherlands. So all these POIs, uh, everything with the stars and the little exclamation marks, these are all new points of interest and airports and sceneries that have been added. And uh, it looks like everything was successful. So another part of the update, uh, I believe they added two new libraries. And I think the easiest way for me to check here is I'm just going to use the 320. So I believe this new Air France library was added. And I do have a mega pack of libraries. That's probably why there's so many of them in here. Um, I believe this one here was also new, the S7, the green one. So that brings us to the end of the video, guys. I hope that was informative and you guys were able to do it correctly without any issues. As always, I hope you subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell. And if you like what you saw, don't forget to hit that like button down below. Hope you all have a great evening and we'll see you guys on the next one.